Good morning, children. Today we are going to begin with the second part of lesson number three inside the system unit. Children, in the previous turn we have studied about CPU, and there are two main parts of CPU: control unit and arithmetic and logic unit. So we are going to study about those parts in deep so first let us study about control unit this unit controls the operations of all parts of a computer let us see the functions the functions of this unit are it is responsible for controlling the transfer of data and instruction among the other units of computer so whenever we are giving any information so control unit is playing a major role in that it manages and coordinates all the units of the computer it obtains the instructions from the memory interprets them and directs the operation of the computer you can see the picture over here it is control unit now let us study about alu that is arithmetic logic unit this unit consists of two subsections namely arithmetic section and logic section what does arithmetic section does the function of arithmetic section is to perform arithmetic operations like addition subtraction multiplication and division all the complex operations are done by making repetitive use of the above operations so whenever we need to add subtract divide or multiply arithmetic section does the work logic section function of logic section is to perform logic operations such as comparing selecting matching and merging of data now children let us see the speed of cpu the speed of a cpu is measured in megahertz and gigahertz the faster the speed of cpu chip the faster the computer can operate so whenever we are having a faster speed our computer will work fast the speed of cpu is increasing day by day earlier computers were having very less speed of cpu nowadays we are having a very high speed of cpu now children let us study about ram ram stands for random access memory ram is a memory device attached to the motherboard when a program is started it is first loaded in ram and ram is also known as the primary or the main memory so children whenever we are starting the computer everything is loaded in ram and we also call it as primary memory or main memory now let us study about disk drives disk drives are used for holding or storing data instructions and information for future use hard disk drive cd rom dvd drive and blu ray drive are the disk drives located inside the system unit so let us first study the hard disk drive hard disk drive is used to store data and information for future use it is there inside the cpu most computers have one hard disk located inside 
the system unit. You must have seen CD-ROM or DVD disk drive. These are the drives where we enter the CD or DVD. A CD-ROM DVD drive reads information stored on compact discs or DVDs. Now these are special Brule disk drive. These Blu-ray disk drives reads information stored on compact disc, DVDs or Blu-ray disc. Now children, let us study about power supply unit of a computer. You must have seen these types of things near computer. Many a times, computer are plugged into standard wall outlets which supply an alternative current which is called AC. This type of power is unsuitable. So, a power supply unit converts main AC that is alternating current into low voltage regulated DC power. DC stands for direct current for the internal components of a computer. Computer power supplies convert the alternating current AC electricity from our wall outlet into direct current DC which is a kind of power our computer supply uses. So we cannot use AC directly. Instead of that we use DC that is known as direct current and how we get the direct current through power supply unit. Now children let us study the last part of our chapter that is computer ports. On a typical desktop computer the back of the system unit contains various holes and slots which are known as ports which in which we can plug any computer devices. This is the front side of the CPU which you have seen. When you will turn back you will get this type of picture. Here you can see the various ports are here and they are meant for separate uses. The first one is the power port. Then we have mouse port, we have parallel port, games port, as you can see here, modem port, microphone port, speakers port and different ports that we can plug in and we can use the computer. So children, I hope you have understood the various ports over here. Thank you children for watching this video.